Dude, it's kind of a shit show. You know, you just kind of got everything going on all at once. A bunch of heavies. You know, the only benefit is that, you know, you don't have lights melting you. You know, heavy, very heavy. Like, it's kind of a slow fight. So, it's alright, I guess. Open, folks. Um, you don't have, like, camo people, like, just, you know, to look for people. Um, so it's kind of nice. Um, but at the same time, it is kind of like, books. you know, so I gotta give them credit where credit's due. It, it, does, it does seem like they were trying to, uh, cut back on. It does seem like they were trying to cut back on. I'm gonna die on her. I haven't seen the I fumbling with what things gives me what. Um, but yeah, uh, it, so that, you know, this will stop people from complaining that, you know, this game mode is nothing but OP lights running around hardy har har um, by just giving people no choice except in that, like, kind of a little bit on what they uh a few more coins in the bank for one kind of uh what the fuck oh don't feel active arming a mine drop the mine i did all right i'm gonna see ya i'm going to the wall Fuck off, dude. Explosives are set. Even more Safe coins are now in play as another. I can't get your break. Go in here. Pyro mindset. Creating a safe zone. I'm scared. Uh. Somebody just banged some coins. <laughs> Why is it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, his head like dipped down and I just couldn't aim at it. Like, oh, why is he throw his entire body into a melee bunch? It only looks like he's removing your fist. His entire hitbox like shifted downwards. I wasn't expecting that. Um, I'm also just not great at this game. Um, but like, I don't know. I I I, I want to see them do something more with team-based modes. You know, something casual and team-based. But they have yet to touch ASAP. anything. Um, team-based for new modes. They have to do anything. You know, even. I did not think that would actually get me in there. Please don't kill me. A contestant is rolling in the dough. Holding that much cash is impressive, but it paints a big target on their Oh, that's me. Oh. Somebody just emptied their pockets. Coins banked. All right. So, um, anyways, uh, a lot of my issues with the last game mode Another really vault reveals this one because they didn't change anything. There's not more cash out of more. What the fuck? Yowza! I didn't do That's that. A contestant I don't think I did that. A coin for the rest. Um, I have metric crap tons of money to the point where I'm almost in second place. Really I'm just looking playing for with fire something to pop up in this end And for a change, I mean map. this figuratively. Carrying around that many coins is bound to put a target on one's back. Nothing spawned Looks like this another corner. vault just gave in. Pyro mine deploy. Mine the mine. Look at Where that. Another vault has been emptied. Someone's right here. 
Are they looking for me? Where? Going for deposit D. Yet another vault has been pried open. Down goes a contestant. Unfortunately, they didn't manage to stash that fortune. Someone else might, though. Is nothing gonna spawn like anywhere close? A massive deposit of coins just now. That contestant's in I'm gonna it wait for to the win next it. one to jump up. Four, three, two, one. There. Moving to deposit A. I'm impressed and worried. A contestant is holding on to a king's ransom in coins. They'll probably I know want to bank that it's me and the other guy, coin. honestly. Look at all those coins. That vault's opening might just be the golden ticket to the top spot. A coin-rich contestant just got Blowing shutting the mine. exit. Deploy the supply. A contestant just wired a bucket load of coins to their account. Another vault's lock has been picked. Uh oh. This oh, he's got interesting, folks. One of our contestants. Yep, that's a place. So. I like these matches because they're quick, but they also just really don't offer you any in terms of rewards. Um, but as you can see, like, when you get a lot of coins, you kind of gotta just wait for the fresh one to respawn. That's my strategy, at least. Because if you try to go in for something and people are already in the area, you know, like, you're just gonna lose your coins. You're just gonna, you're gonna get three people shooting you at once, or you're gonna kill someone and then someone else is gonna come up and kill you. But that was actually my best placed game so far. Um, and they got these challenges here. You can unlock all the blue stuff. I don't like blue, so I don't really care about it. So I started using the shotgun because I wanted the black face and, I, and the gloves. But I really don't care, if I'm being honest. Um, I don't see why we can't get an actual new game mode and why we just keep getting solo modes. Um, something, you know, like, like give us something fresh. Give us something, you know, not... You know, killing people, putting in coins, um, going to cash box, grabbing coins, putting them in. Uh, like bank, it's bank, it's fine. And it's a team deathmatch, and it's casual, and it's it's fun enough. But when you when you put it in solo, it's kind of just a hot mess. But I honestly, I think like lesser numbers, like it's like 12 people in a match. Just do lesser numbers of people, and I I feel like the settings they have in game will be a little bit more appropriate. Um, maybe the latches would drag on a bit longer, but it would switch it up more from like a just people running around murdering everyone everywhere. I don't know. I just like like just too much too much chaos and and like so much going on. It can be a good thing sometimes, but I don't know something something about like the bank it like I I feel like I can't actually do anything unless I do what I did in that match, um, which is like I get some points. And then I go, I have to go, I have to like, you know, I have to not play the game and not shoot people because I know that like there's too, gonna be too many people to manage in a fight realistically. I mean, I could be the world's best LMG user, heavy user, and I just, just situations you'll still die. Um, and no, it's not like a terrible thing, but it it's, gets pretty ridiculous as you saw. Um, the store, it's got some interesting things like I would totally get this varsity jacket but I'm not giving you 16 freaking dollars for the when the only thing I want is the varsity jacket these sleeves are pretty much useless most of the cosmetics cover up the uh, the sleeves um, and I, I honestly I haven't even I've never used taunts in game um, I do it all the time in apex because I know how to do it but like I would take I would pick this jacket up in a heartbeat it looks nice like these weapon skins also look nice, um, but I'm not giving you $16 for three weapon skins. If it went on every single weapon, if this, and it honestly, then this doesn't even look like, doesn't look like it's tailored to the weapon itself too much. And like other, also like maybe the grim, the gold trimming. Like if this was for, if this was for every weapon, I would give them 16. Hell, I might even give them 20 if this is even anything I cared about, which really gosh, don't. Um. Like, cause I think these are really nice skins. They have that reflective sheen to them. But then you got like this, they, they're they actually like one, like 15, 12 for this, basically $12 for this. And this skin is like Northern Lights. I get what they're going for. It's like the moon and the wolf. Um, but like this skin's like, I can't even tell. I think they're, I think they're animated like ever so slightly. 
I just leave the controller here alone? But it's like, if it's animated, it's like hard to tell. And if it's not animated, like, I feel like, you know, once again, like, these skins need to go on more weapons, like, this, and, and anything that isn't, like, very ultra-specific, like, this is an ultra-specific model, also very shiny, very, very shiny. I don't know if it will actually shine like that in-game, but that'd be funny if you could just blind people with your, uh, with your cheese, cheese knife, cheese scooper, um, like... I wouldn't pay 950 for just a single weapon skin. This makes my thing look like cheese. But this is like something very tempting that I would give them like five dollars for if I felt invested in their game, I, I, which I don't. Um, but like these these skins too. Why 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 over ten dollars for you know a army take? Oh, it says your name on it. That's cool. Um, but yeah, for uh, for like. A sticker thing and then just something that could have gone on every single weapon it's just like it's such missed opportunities and like they want two dollars for a sleeve tattoo um, which looks kind of cool honestly but um, and you know that that's that's more appropriate that's like the most appropriate thing in this entire shop is the sleeve tattoo for like 250 you know if you really like that design 250 is like you know kind of whatever it's just for one thing but you know it's at least kind of acceptable whereas this is like 16 for a bunch of stuff and like like I said I, I only give a shit about the jacket like really because I think the jacket looks slick um like ugh. This, this stuff is getting insane like $22 I I, I bought Pal World for $30 um this is worth almost as much as Pal World is like, ugh. But yeah, so I don't bet spend anything in the store. They're not doing anything, you know, fancy with their game modes. Sure, they put in, you know, they put in set loadouts, but that's really just enforcing people to play a certain way with certain weapons and stuff. Um, and that's not really addressing uh, the issue with, uh, you know, with the game in general, I think, as far as, like, content-wise. Like, you still only have bank it and quick cash, or rather bank it and, and, and the other mode. Um, it, it's not adding anything new. So, once again, another boring content update from this game. Um, but at least there's some free stuff if you're playing the game to come get it. I'm not going to knock them too hard, you know. At least they have something to bring p people back with in the form of those temporary contracts and whatnot. Um... And people will, will probably run to their defense and be like, oh, it just came out, blah, blah, blah. But, like, you know, they're, they're, they're cooking something, hopefully. Um, but I just wish it wasn't the solo modes, honestly. It can't be that hard. It really can't be that hard to, add, to put in some new UI elements and make, make 6v6, something 6v6 um, to some nature. I mean... A Apex Legend did it, um, and, it, and it wasn't even meant for anything other than three teams, like 3v3s, you know, with the arenas, that's the best they had before that. I'd, I'd argue a Apex Legend still needs to improve their shit, because, uh, because you can't even communicate with the rest of your team, and that's kind of shit, um, on that regard, um, but yeah, uh, so yeah, another mediocre update for this game. Um, I imagine we'll see something bigger next season, but honestly, I wouldn't hold it to them to it. They're just looking for your money. They really are. They're just looking to put in a bare minimum effort to so put more money into the game. Because let's be honest, as soon as this game doesn't start pulling money, as soon as people stop buying the cosmetics in this game, this game's getting canned. And that's one of the biggest reasons why I don't want to play this game. Or don't want to put money in this game. I'll play it. But I don't want to put money into this game because it's in Braves or Group. Like, they shut down studios left and right. Let's be, let's, let's keep it real. Um, and, uh, like, with the state of how games have been recently, the only mo games I want to invest money to is Halo Infinite, and I'm done putting money into that, and Apex Legends, which I'm also done putting money into. Um, 
uh, for the, at least for the time being, uh, especially Apex Legends for the time being, I might put more money into Infinite because 3 for 3 does such a good job and actually puts meaningful content updates and does meaningful things when they add things in, you know. But I mean, new maps, new anything. This, this, come on, give us, give us a bone, throw us a bone, give us something, tell us you're working on something, um, and it's just not ready yet. Um, the season has what like. 42 days remaining, so they got over a month uh, to announce something new. So let's hope, let's hope something comes, and it's not just like some new weapons and no new map, no new game modes next season. And who knows, they might end up doing another like temporary mode, but it's probably gonna be something else, very lackluster. But maybe not. Maybe they'll prove me wrong. Anyways, that's what I hope at least. But uh, I'm gonna head out. I hope you guys enjoy this new game mode. Um, I might continue to play this a little bit, um, but honestly, I'm probably just gonna go back to Power World, go back to Dragon's Dogma, um, because those are way more fun to play than this thing.